Hi, welcome to the new Spring Boot tutorial series. This tutorial is based on the new Spring Boot 3 version. In part 1 of this tutorial, we pick up where we left off after the intro. This time we are going to create a DTO or data transfer object. We will use a new technique for this purpose, namely Java records. Then we will create a REST controller and two get mapping methods. To make our DTO available as an endpoint. Let's write some code. First we need to create a new package, DTO. In this new package we create a new record. User with three fields ID, first name, and last name. We also create a public method, full name, to combine first name and last name. Next, we create a new package, controller. In this new package, we create a new class, user controller. This new class has an annotation, REST controller. In this class we create two new methods. Get user and get full name. The get class method is the simplest form of a get mapping endpoint. Let's test our first method in your favorite browser. Run the application and open localhost 8080 slash user. As you can see there are no error messages, and we get user back. The getful name method has two path variable annotations. First name and last name. In this method we use the user DTO to return the full name.
Let's test our second method in your favorite browser. Run the application and open localhost 8080 user slash willy slash dekaiser. As you can see there are no error messages and we get back the full name. This is the end of part 1. Thank you. Like. Comment. Share. And subscribe.